Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be starting a new series that I've never really seen before and I kind of wanted to do it. I think last night I got the idea. I was just playing with some random kits and I was like, this would be a good idea if I reviewed each and every single one of these kits in one series because I've never seen anyone go through and review all the kits. And if I've seen anyone do it, it's probably from some guy that didn't really know what they were doing. So today we're going to start and I don't know how much I'm going to be uploading for this series. I think I'm going to be uploading this series a lot because like this is like something I always kind of wanted to do but never really got around to it and it's something that i think is going to be pretty enjoyable hopefully you guys agree to that because i'm going to be uploading this a lot and hopefully you guys want to see that type of content because i think it'll be pretty cool so yeah the first kit we are going to be reviewing is a new kit and that is the golem kit that you can unlock when you go to the tournament hall and purchase it for about 100 tributes it's not that much you guys probably have that if you played in some tournaments 100 tributes is kind of easy to get you can buy the golem kit for a hundred tributes and then you will have it here obviously now what you get is you get an iron golem egg which is already very op leather boots with prot 3 and blast protection 4 which i mean that's pretty good if you don't have boots and you get a a potato that is called my precious and that gives you a health boost of two hearts which makes this kit even more overpowered than it already is all right so i guess with that out of the way we are gonna get into some games with it i can see myself using this golem kit a lot it is a very good kit I tried it out before I started recording just to get kind of used to it and familiar with it and it is really really nice and honestly it's it's literally the new frog kit like remember when the frog kit first came out and everyone was using it yeah now it's this kit now this is the kit everyone's using. So when you first spawn, you, you want to right click the potato and then you get the extra hearts. You get two extra hearts. And if you get gaps, you should eat it. And then you uh, literally have 28 HP, most likely more than anyone else in the game. And once you get to mid, you also want to spawn your golem so that can defend you. It's like, it, it's just so good, man. The golem is really good. It's super tanky, obviously, because it's an iron golem and like you, you know sometimes when you have a zombie right and then you're like bridging and it gets in the way and then you like fall or something well the iron golem it kills the zombies do you know how much i've wanted something that just kills zombies yeah like you see it just did it like because i don't want the zombies i don't care about the zombies whatsoever they they're not good for me oh no is this does this guy have an iron golem is this this guy's iron golem or is this mine i can't even tell i'm pretty sure mine wouldn't attack me but I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe it does attack you. It does not. Probably not. That's probably mine right there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh. And I landed when I died. All right, so uh, that was a bad showcase, but yeah, as you can see, the Iron Golem just flips you. Like, I did not even react to that. I didn't really even see that. When I saw that, it was kind of too late. Yeah, I threw the pearl kind of too high. But yeah, once you get the kit, just, you can get used to it pretty easily, and it is really, really good. Are, are you kidding me? What? This guy just said the new kit is crap? Does this guy play Sky Wars? Oh my gosh. Does he not see the health boost? Does he not see the iron golem? What? There's so much good stuff about this kit. I mean, not that many things, but there's so many good things about the kit. Oh yeah, defend me. Yeah, see, once I have the iron golem, no one really wants to get to me. No. Iron golem, go in. Okay, let, let's get him away. Let's, let's get this guy. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, oh my gosh. Come here. Die. 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 There we go. No. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, so we're not gonna talk about how I just accidentally queued ranked, but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, continue with the video. I... I don't think I've ever joined an Aegis game that didn't fill. Don't you find it weird how I accidentally queued ranked and I won, but I lost both of the solo games this video? Don't you find that a little weird? Yeah, I find that weird too. Hopefully, I win this game. I, I clearly can't win solo game. I was literally destroying people before I started recording, playing solo, using this kit. Now I'm just losing over and over, but then I queued ranked and I win? What? I'm gonna skip to the end of the ranked match, by the way, when I like have that in because it was kind of... 
boring uh, ipixel i think ipixel's dying same with the next sparkling guy the only like i don't, I don't know i don't know the iron golem's it's like slow barely teleports and there's there's always gonna be flaws with something that seems so good there's always gonna be flaws oh my did you just get a chest plate mister yeah pe mr penguin that's what <laughs> let's go let's go iron golem I would rather you flip actual players and not the skeletons or the mobs, but... Hey. Die. Okay. Got him. And... Get Pearl. And now we got Sharp 2. Alright. And we got better boots, too. And a better helmet. Technically, that is better, if you did not know. If it's a chain... Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yes! Yes! Kill him. Kill him. I do not want my zombie. Ever. Okay. They're so useless. And they're so just annoying. Like, your own zombies can get you killed sometimes. They all teleport to you. And the Iron Golem, so... The Iron Golem also has a chance to kill you, but I don't think it's as bad. It might be worse, but... Because, like, of how big it is. But at the same time, it doesn't teleport as much as zombie. So, yeah. Mr. Rafixim. Right? <laughs> uh... Oh my gosh, will this be a win? No way, no way. One out of four games I won. I have a 25% win ratio today. Except technically it'll be, if I win this game, it'll be 40% because I won that ranked game. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, I should probably actually try just in case. And I can't see him because the Iron Golem just, oh yeah, and the Iron Golem also flips the wither. So yeah, when you win, it flips the wither. All right, so now we are going to get into the pros and cons of the Iron Golem. All right, here are the pros of the Iron Golem. You get a flippin' Iron Golem, for crying out loud. Iron Golems are already one of the best defender-type mobs in Minecraft in general. And you get that in Sky Wars? Like, do you know how OP that is? Like, that, that's just crazy. And then you get two extra hearts. Two extra hearts. That's like getting one kill with healer and ranked. It's just almost guaranteed win, except I did really bad in this video, but aim was really shaky. Everything was really shaky, but that's besides the point. For the most part, you get wins, and it's increased just even more with the health boost and the iron golem, like, combined. Like, that's kind of really OP. And a very common armor combination you get in Skywars is, like, iron helmet, iron leggings, and diamond chest plate. And no boots. This fills that gap because Prot 3 leather boots are still, they're like on par with, I think, Prot 1 iron or Prot 2 iron. I think it's Prot 2 iron. It's a it's about on par with one of those. So it's even better than just regular non-enchanted iron. So that's, that's a bonus as well. Even though, obviously, durability and stuff comes into play. Not really because you don't really take that many hits in Sky Wars, for crying out loud. It's Sky Wars. Most of the fights are quick and simple. But another pro is that it doesn't teleport as much as zombies and skeletons do. Like, when you spawn a zombie or a skeleton, actually, technically, you don't spawn zombies. They kind of just... You know, if you have the Necromancer kit, I think, or the Necromancer perk, it automatically spawns zombies a certain chance when you get a kill. So whenever those spawn, they teleport a lot. They teleport a lot more than the Iron Golems do. They get in your way all the time. But the Iron Golems, not as much. Also, the Iron Golem has an insane amount of health. Like, you have to hit it about seven times, I think, with the Diamond Sword. Or maybe even five. Probably five or something. With the Diamond Sword. And that's when it dies. Five times to hit something when there's... It's basically like you're teaming. Your teammate is the Iron Golem, and you are the other teammate, you know? And you go in for, like, a few hits, and you get hit back. Then the Iron Golem goes in, gets a hit, and then, like, what if it gets hit back, then you go in, and it's kind of like... It keeps going like that, and you can get easy kills if you work with it properly. I'm still trying to learn this kit, because obviously it's new. It literally just came out, and I just heard of it and i literally just bought it before this video so it doesn't really get in the way if you bridge like the iron golem if it teleports it doesn't really get in the way because usually it doesn't even teleport that much and even when it does it's usually on flat land well from what i can tell i haven't tried to bridge up yet so i don't really know it probably does try and teleport when you're bridging but that's every mob you can't really do anything about it now that brings us on to our cons the iron golem can teleport when you're bridging onto the bridge again the way of your blocks and potentially kill you now usually if you get to mid fast and you place your defender and everything you can get chests because the iron golem will defend you because it'll flip people and then you'll know if they're there and you can fight them you know so you'll probably most likely get pearls so this isn't really that big of a con because you could probably live if you get knocked off if you are pretty decent at pearling or have some idea of how to pearl you know it's not really that difficult another con is that right now a lot a lot of people are using this kit and this is not really a kit 
con it's more of just a con that a lot of people are using this kit obviously and it's just like it's not that great to use at the moment because a lot of people are using it but it's really the only thing that people have learned to counter with is to use this kit itself and that's how you'll be able to counter the other iron golems is by having another one and another con is i've noticed when i'm like using the health boost that it takes quite a bit longer to regen the hearts the extra hearts that you get when you use the health boost i mean that's not really an issue because normally while it's regening you probably get regen pods you probably get golden apples you probably get these things to help your health go up faster and you probably won't be in combat in the time that you're on your island and you obviously right click your health boost before you get off your island just so that you're ready when you go to mid and those are pretty much all the cons with the kit to be honest, there's not many that there's not many cons. It's just you can pretty much avoid them. I suggest that you use this kit if you got the amount of tributes that you need to get the kit. If you did not get it during the Skyros tournament, there are always other tournaments you can get it. Just get tributes and then you can buy it in the shop. But yeah, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I am AFK in Limbo because I've been talking for so long. And please subscribe down below and click the notification bell. We are on our way to 225 subscribers i guess make sure to like the video let's get to 10 likes and the next video will drop hopefully soon i don't know what kit i'm gonna be using next actually i think i think i do but i'm, not, I'm just not gonna tell you yet it'll be a surprise but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye